All right, y'all, today we are going to make dynamic torches. So like I walk in here and it would be lit up because I'm holding a torch. Okay, everybody knows the drill if you've been following along at this point. We're gonna do this on a player move event. So whenever a player moves, we're gonna send a message, you moved. Okay, this is probably gonna spam my console. <laughs> it is. Now we need to narrow it down to only when we're holding a torch. Okay, it might be player.getActiveItem. And we'll check if that equals material.torch. And if it is a torch, we'll say, you moved with the torch. Okay, it doesn't work. So this should be it. We get the equipment and then we get the item in the main hand. Okay, we scroll over. Nice, we moved with the torch. And now I guess we stopped. And then we did it again and then we stopped. Okay, so now we need to spawn a block. We have this light. I think if we just place that at the player, then it's going to illuminate around them. So we get the player's location, then we get the block, and we set it to material.light. Let's try it. And it works. Okay, so... But they aren't going away. Like, when, I, when I'm when i not using my torch, this should be dark again. But it's not. It's still bright because we have all these light blocks here. We need to store the block in some sort of data structure. So whenever we set the light block, we're also going to add it to the data structure. And then... Earlier in the function, we need to check if they already had a block and we need to destroy that block. So for now, we're just gonna set the type to material.error in order to clear it. Okay, let's try it. Okay, it looks like they're being destroyed. Look, and that's dark now. If I go over here and I back up, it's getting dark. So they are getting destroyed. So I've got my torch out. Okay, this is an issue. Since it's setting the material to air, it's causing the water to be deleted. Real quick, we're just gonna do water. Okay. So, it's, oh, that's awkward. Oh, that's awkward. So we need to actually set it to the previous blocks type. Hold it, <gasps> look. It's working. It's working. Oh my gosh. And it's not flooding anything. Oh. Okay, I figured out another issue. If I go like this, these will break. In order to fix this bug, I think it's gonna be best if I only allow the light to spawn if you're standing in air, water, or bubble column. So, if we have this, it'll suddenly get dim, which is fine. You know, I really don't like how it's bright and then dark all of a sudden. I think we can do better. If their eyes aren't at air, water, or bubble column, then we're going to get the nearest block that is air, water, or bubble column. So for this algorithm, I want a radius. I want to search breadth first. So I'm going to start from the innermost radius and work my way outward. If anybody wants to take a stab at the time complexity of this algorithm, I'll pin your comment. Okay, I'd like to demonstrate where it's searching. Huh. Okay, so this is the radius we're gonna be searching. This is the maximum radius that we can place the light. Let's try it. Okay, that, that's promising. It's right there, that's perfect. So it's the closest block to me because my head isn't in air. But like, look, so this isn't an issue. I'm standing in this block, but it's finding the nearest block to me to set as the light source. Oh, and this works so well, actually. Can I find diamonds? I'd love to find diamonds. This is so useful. I'd be out of torches by now. Oh, bum joined the game. Hallelujah, there he is. <gasps> diamonds, I found diamonds. Okay, I just need to smelt the iron. Okay, let's get these. No way. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining the stream, everyone. I'll see y'all next time.